Hello from the Bureau with an update on severe tropical cyclone Nora. The Category 3 system has moved southeast across the Gulf of Carpentaria today and is gradually approaching the western coast of the Cape York Peninsula. A tropical cyclone warning covers coastal areas between Mapoom and Corumba, and this includes Mornington Island, and a cyclone watch extends from Corumba to the Northern Territory border. Now, Nora should slow down and approach to the western peninsula coast overnight and is expected to cross the coast tomorrow between Kaunyanga and the Gilbert River mouth. However, as indicated by this large grey area of uncertainty, there is a chance that Nora could remain just off the coast, so the strength of the system over coming days will be very much dependent on its exact location. Gales with gusts to 120 km per hour may develop in coastal areas between Mapoom and Kaunyanga this afternoon extending to the remainder of the warning area overnight tonight. And very destructive winds with gusts to 180 km per hour may develop between Weeper and Kawanyama this afternoon or overnight, as the core of that cyclone nears the coast. And if the cyclone does make landfall, then it should gradually weaken into a tropical low during Monday. As the cyclone's sphere of influence broadens, heavy rainfall will increase over the Cape York Peninsula, the Gulf Coast and northeastern tropics over this weekend and into next week, bringing a risk of flash flooding. We've also issued flood watches for these areas, and this includes the Flinders River, which finally fell from major to below minor flood level this week. And as the cyclone approaches or crosses the coast, a dangerous storm surge is possible for areas between Mapoom and the Gilbert River mouth. The sea is likely to rise well above the normal tide, with damaging waves and flooding of some low-lying areas close to the shoreline. So as this system approaches, stay safe and keep up to date with warnings on our website or the Bomb Weather app. You can follow updates from meteorologists on Twitter and please follow all advice from emergency services.